Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com. Now let's see about directive contrast based multimodal medical image fusion in NSCT domain. Now let's see about the abstract. Here we provide a novel approach in the fusion based on non subsample contralet transform. For fusion, two different rules are used by which more information can be preserved in the fused image which uh, with improved quality. Two groups of uh, CT, MRI and uh, two groups of MRI T1 and MRI T2 images are fused using conventional fusion algorithms and the proposed framework. Initially, we provide the two images to the process. First, we have to convert the image by NSCT. It separates a high and low frequency. Then we fuse the low and high frequencies are fused. We apply the inverse controller transform. Finally, we get the fused images. Now, let's see the flow of our process. First, we have to given the two images. First one is the brain CT images, and second one is the brain MRI images. These two images will be initially taken. The taken image will pass to the pre processing step. So, here we are removing the noise by the use of Gaussian filter. So, uh, is, it is a windowed filter and linear type it will remove the noise based on the weighted mean so after removing the noise it will go to the nsct nsct stands for uh, non subsample controller transform it is implemented based on the laplacian permit decomposition after a filter bank structure that can deal eff effectively with the piecewise smooth images with the smooth contours. The resulting image expansion is a directional multi-resolution analysis framework composed of contour segmentation and thus uh, is named counterlet. This will overcome the challenges of wavelet and curvelet transform. The counterlet transform is a double filter bank structure. It is uh, implemented by the Promedial directional filter bank which decompose the images into a directional subbands at multiple scales. The extracted uh, after uh, implementing the NSCT, we are getting the coefficients as low and uh, high frequency coefficients are taken for the both uh, b brain CT and the MRI images. The extracted low and uh, high frequency will be fused and the low and low information will be fusion and uh, the high and high information will be fusion with the absolute values. After fusing the information, we are, we are getting the two information that is the low frequency information will be 1 and then high information will be 1. These two information will pass to the inverse NSCT domain. So for reconstructing the image, after that finally we are getting the result. This result will be the fused information of uh, brain CT and brain MRI images. Now let's see the demo of our process. Here I am having fusion main.m file. Select this file, right click and run the file. So this is our guide design. So initially we have to give the input image. In data set I am having the brain MRI image such as uh, CT and uh, MRI. So now I am selecting one image as an input. CT image is taken here and then another similar image is taken. This is the both similar image which will taken in the different uh, scanning technique. This is a CT and MRI. This image have to be fusion so that um, initially we are taking the non subsample counter light transform for both uh, NSCT and uh, this is the non subsample coefficient this is the low information of a CT image this is the high frequency of the CT this is the low information of MRI this is the high information of MRI so these two information is uh, passed here 
in fusion of approximation the low information is fusion fused here the low information of both is fused here after that this is the fusion of uh, detailed information of both information are fused here after that the inverse nsd domain is taken this is the inverse nsd of uh, both uh, fused uh, coefficients after that this is the final fused result here uh, the intensity information is uh, in also enhanced here and then finally we are going the analysis part in analysis we are identifying the structural similarity between the both the ct and mri images this is the structural similarity of the images and then we are identifying the similarity similarity value and the mutual information and the entropy of uh, ct image and the entropy of um, mri image this is the entropy of fused image so compared to the both the entropy of input image the fused entropy is high now i am showing the result of uh, fusion of uh, counterlet transform in the ct and mri image fusion technique it will be used in the uh, medical image analysis thank you